Reopening of the Philippines Drug War Probe by the ICC Prosecutor Up through April 2021, police interactions resulted in at least 6,117 accused drug dealers dying. During a news conference in Davao City, Southern Philippines, in 2017, Former President Rodrigo Duterte displayed a list of elected officials and police personnel he said were complicit in the illicit drug trade, killings, and other alleged violations of human rights occurred during the so-called war on drugs waged by the former President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, according to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. ICC, who announced he will seek to revive the probe. As of April 2021, at least 6,117 alleged drug dealers had died in police contacts, according to Philippine government data released in June 2021. According to activists and human rights organizations, the number could reach 30,000. On Manila's request, the International Court put a stop to its inquiry into Duterte's drug campaign in November. The deferral requested by the Philippines is not warranted, and the investigation should resume as soon as possible, ICC Prosecutor Karim Khan said in a statement on Friday. After a careful and thorough review of all the information provided by the Philippines, as well as other information available publicly, I have concluded that the investigation should resume as quickly as possible. The Philippine government has been notified of my plan to submit the application today, said Khan. I stated in my letter, I remain ready and willing to continue the fruitful discourse we have had since November 2021, and to seek ways in which, moving forward, we can successfully work to deliver justice to victims in the Philippines, and I reiterate it here. In 2016, Duterte's campaign for president was focused only on reducing crime in the Philippines. The country's Catholic leaders referred to Duterte's violent anti-drug campaign, which he immediately began after taking office on June 30, 2016, as a reign of terror. He constantly pushed cops to murder drug suspects, both during his campaign and after becoming president. According to a UN study from the previous year, Anti-drug activities had resulted in the deaths of thousands of people. In 2018, Duterte announced the Philippines' withdrawal from the ICC and reaffirmed his administration's commitment to not cooperating with any probe. The ICC has the authority to look into crimes that happened while the nation was a member and up to 2019. Adams claimed that the Duterte government never took the ICC's accountability process seriously, as was most recently demonstrated by its utterly unjustified request for a delay of the probe. The Philippine government, however, has challenged the ICC resolution, given that the country officially withdrew from the court in 2019 the second country to do so after Burundi did likewise in 2017. Duterte made the decision to withdraw the Philippines' membership after the ICC launched a preliminary examination into his anti-narcotics operations in 2018. According to Duterte, the acts allegedly committed by me are neither genocide nor war crimes. The deaths occurring in the process of legitimate police operations lacked the intent to kill. But this contradicted his previous public threats against drug suspects. My order is shoot to kill you. I don't care about human rights, 
you better believe me. He also praised the rising body count of victims of police killings as proof of the success of his war on drugs. The deaths associated with the drug war continue while the families of the victims continue to grieve and the perpetrators are still at large. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Thanks.